Cobot, short for Collaborative Robot. You might call it Help on Wheels. I have to tell you that many people have done moving robots and others continue, everybody does. But the thing that is actually beautiful about also Cobot is that nobody follows Cobot. It just goes by itself. With support from the National Science Foundation, computer scientist Manuela Veloso and her team at Carnegie Mellon University are developing Cobot as an autonomous indoor service robot to interact with people and provide help on the go. Okay, go. Escort me, transport this item from one place to another. Go there and deliver a message, pick up that for me. So all these navigation challenges became a part of this service robot that we had to address. Getting on Cobot's dance card is simple. Log on to a website, select a task, book a time slot, and it's on the job. Cobot is not just following a pre-programmed floor plan. It's recording every turn, monitoring the walls, calculating planar surfaces, plotting window and door locations, noting where the carpet and hardwood floor meet, learning the space as it moves along, navigating, this motion of the robot plus the sensing of this plane detection allows the robot to estimate its location in the building. Cobot can respond to voice commands. Go to Brian's office. Going to the office. And a key to its success is symbiotic autonomy, knowing when and where to ask humans for help, like pressing buttons in the elevator. So I press seven and searching the web when asked about an object it doesn't know. Bring me a hamburger. This object is not in my knowledge base. I will search the web using... So when can you expect to see a cobot rolling down a hall near you? Belozo sees lots of opportunities, but even she wonders, are we really ready? We could be have cobots in supermarkets, we could have cobots in museums, we could have cobots in hospitals, we could have cobots in schools. Whether people, general one, will be able to accept a moving thing that moves by itself and interacts with you, I don't know psychologically how far away we are from that. Not a problem for me. Send it on over. I've got a long to-do list. And, well, I could use the help. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.